Father, I pray that you watch over this couple as they embark on their journey of marriage. I pray that they seek you in every decision that they make. I pray that they grow together in you and that you strengthen them so whenever the rain falls and the flood comes and the winds beat against the house, that it will not fall and hold steadfast in the foundation of your love. I pray a special blessing over this new family, that their children's children have a heart for you because this couple made a decision to follow your will. I pray that you bring peace to them financially and give all the honor and glory to you. I pray that they put you first in everything that they do and that your hand guides them even when it's hard to see. I pray that you use them to fill your kingdom so that when people look at them, they can see you. In a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable, my sister has been a constant source of light, laughter, and unwavering support. She truly is the brightest light in the form of a human. And Emma, the second you got engaged, I began writing things down for this speech, and then I realized that I had been subconsciously writing it for the past 23 years. I've written this so many times over, and there are simply no words that I can come up with to describe how much I love you and what you mean to me and what a great sister you've been throughout my life in so many ways. See, my cousin Bryce has always been more of a brother than a cousin to me. Bryce didn't want just any lady. He had a certain girl in mind. He didn't know who that girl was yet, but that certain girl in mind, he had. So that's when you take a beautiful and God-fearing Texas woman and a handsome, God-fearing man, and the recipe was perfect. Every ingredient that I would want in a woman for my brother, Emma has. And every ingredient of a man for my friend Emma, my brother is the best example of. Bryce, you are by far one of the kindest and most genuine souls that I have ever met. Today, I warmly welcome you into our family. Seeing how much you love and care for Emma makes me so happy. Whether you two are dancing, laughing, or just simply sitting next to each other, the way you look at her says it all. And I can't thank you enough for being everything that I could have hoped for for my best friend. Father, thank you for this amazing, beautiful woman. I thank you for blessing me with the opportunity to love her, to date her, and now soon to marry her. I have always been an extremely nervous person when it comes to any big event. I always worried about whether or not I would mess it up, and I questioned myself so many times. The decision to stand here today with you on the biggest event in my entire life is by far the easiest thing I've ever done. Today, and as long as the Lord blesses me with the breath to breathe, I vow to love you, to cherish you, to protect you, to care for you, and to hold you. I vow to be your biggest supporter and to place you second in my life only to God. I vow to celebrate all of the good times with you and come for you during the not so good times. And I vow to stand by you as your teammate today and always. I love you so much more than words could ever possibly describe. This is And it's by virtue of the love that you each hold in your hearts that I now pronounce your husband and wife, Bryce, you may kiss your bride.
it's hard to believe that the time has come where my best friend has to start a new adventure with her new best friend. My hope for you two is to not be fooled by what some will call ordinary. I hope that you realize just how extraordinary it is to fall deeper in love with the same person each and every day. Cherish each other's uniqueness, for it is what drew you together in the first place. Always remember to listen with an open heart and to hold each other's hands tightly, no matter what life brings your way. You two make a fantastic team, and I can't wait to see all the adventures that life has in store for you. So here is to a lifetime of love, laughter, and happily ever after as the Russics.